Together, we can do this. Yeah, let's guess who that is from. Jeff Berkowitz, the former research director for the RNC. He did opposition research for the Giuliani campaign in 07 and Bush Cheney in 04. Good morning. Good to see you, Jeff. Morning. Good to see you, too, Chris. What do you make of an ad like that? Because, man, they just, you know, turn those out every single day. I get something like that in my inbox. Yeah, absolutely. And now, now that we have super PACs uh, that can fire away, you're going to see even more of these ads uh, for the next year. All right, so you're in a room, you're pouring over pages and pages, all right, maybe hundreds or thousands of pages, maybe the same stuff uh, Nancy Pelosi is looking at from in in investigators years ago, all about Newt Gingrich. Tell me what goes on in that room. How do you decide what the, to use? What's the, what's the conversation like? Sure. Well, first of all, you tend to lose your eyesight because you're pouring <laughs> over all those documents, as you can tell from my glasses. But uh, <laughs> what, what you do is you're looking for little nuggets that are hidden in, in these, these files. You know, you'll look through all of these reports, and there's going to be one or two sections that are what you're looking for. Something people you, you, haven't heard before. Absolutely. Things people haven't heard before, or more importantly, things that go to the template of who you're trying to explain the, the candidate is. So if you're you know, Mitt Romney and you're trying to explain that Newt Gingrich is an is a, you know, unreliable leader, you're looking for things that show that he's unreliable. If you're the RNC and you're getting ready for Barack Obama, you're trying to find things like Solyndra, where um, you know, they're giving loans to the people that are political supporters and, and those loans are costing the taxpayers a lot of money. So, so there are a couple of attacks Mitt Romney is using. So let me play for you some more clips here. Gingrich has spent the last 30 years in Washington. If, if you think that, that a background in, in, uh, in Washington and, and working to connect various people to Washington leaders and, and, uh, and being in government affairs is what we need in Washington, why he's the guy. I'm not a bomb thrower, rhetorically or literally. So I wonder if that kind of stuff works or really what you're looking for if you want to make a splash, if you want to change minds at this stage, you need people like you sitting in that room looking for that bombshell. Sure. You know, what, I, what I've found and what I always have to tell, tell clients is you're probably not going to find that silver bullet. You know, those come, come along one in a thousand times. But what you're looking for is patterns, trends, you know, data points and, uh, that build upon each other. You know, so for example, when we were looking at John Kerry in 2004, we were looking for examples of flip-flops and we found tons of them. And so we built that case over time using those different data points. You aren't usually going to find some big silver bullet. But what's interesting, New York Magazine had a great piece earlier this week about how there's a, there's a kid that likes to just watch the C-SPAN video archives online. More and more you're going to see people find video that never existed in hands that you could really get on. You you know, get your hands on, uh, and, and you're going to see more of those kind of bombshells coming from a, a variety of directions, not just from the, the opposing campaigns. Yeah, they pose it and it goes viral. So let's say in that treasure trove, or maybe not a treasure trove, but you've got all that, <laughs> all that documentation, all these tapes, and you find something. At that point, does the conversation become, do we give it to the candidate? Do we give it to the campaign? Do we have somebody else leak it? That, that's always the conversation. You know, once you have the goods, what do you what do you do with it? And and you wanna you know you, do you give it to reporters and or do you do you put it into an ad or do you you know send out a press release? It's always a calculation you have to make. Uh, you know, and obviously if you can get a third party to do to to do uh, you know the the presentation of what you found, it's always better and more credible than if you're going to release it from the campaign yourself because. Voters aren't stupid. They they look at who's the source, and that's part you know the you know, part of the message, and, and how it's taken is who's telling me this new information, and that's part of how they'll process it. Jeff Berkowitz, fascinating stuff. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for having me. Question for you, drivers out there: Would you give up talking and texting, hands-free or not, while driving? Well, the NTSB is looking for a complete 